For centuries, forest nomad and rurals are known and famous in the world for their skills and creativity in carpet weaving. This type of carpet production process is time-consuming and of course passing every stage of it needs experience, skill, creativity and patience. Producing carpet begins with clipping wool of the tribe sheep. This job is done by men who have special skills of wool clipping and have gained these experiences from their fathers and will teach their knowledge to their sons. Next step is spinning wool. This job is done using spinning wheel or spindle and females would do it. Hand spinned wool has non-uniformity and elegance and creates effet or boss in the texture which makes it more beautiful. Next stage is traditional wool intention. In this workshop, wools are colored using different parts of plants such as madder, resira, lettuce leaf, walnut skin, joshir, cherry stem, indigo, and skin of pomegranate. Besides, they add dandane or mordant, which are mainly double aluminium sulfate or alum. These make the natural colors stable on the wool even more persistent than chemical colors. Compared to chemical colors, natural colors are much more adequate to raw natural materials. It is obvious that the traditional skill, technique, and precision of Dyer Master guarantees the quality of job. The last step of intention is washing and dyeing the colored wool. Jajim is one of the forest traditional carpets. A female artist, after preparing woofs and chelikeshi or installing warp on the loom, weaves a carpet without paper plants. She uses her imagination and the elements of environment as a map for carpet weaving. Weavers put babies in a cradle and sing lullabies about life and carpets for them to send them to sleep. Lai 
گلیم آف فارس is known in the world for centuries. These two قشقای girls are weaving گلیم. They are using a simple weaving loom, scissor and comb. Imagination and experience are the key elements of gabbe weaving. Gabbe is a wool carpet with long naps and beautiful graphics. Skills, plans, patterns and beautiful color combinations of gabbe are transferred from one generation to another. Undoubtedly, rugs and carpets of villagers and nomads of Fars are masterpieces which are the fruit of experience, patience, precision, and creativity. After the rugs are weaved, they may be used in form of several products such as cushions, bags, and saddlebags. These are used for daily uses, dowries of brides, and to sell. The experienced weaver weaves a rug and younger ones look at her job with great precision to learn her methods, color selection, skills, concepts and style. This is the transmission method of the art and skills of farce carpet weaving for centuries in these areas, which is still performed to preserve it for next generations. After preparing products out of carpets, they are traded in the traditional bazaars. These are samples of jajims, flat gleams, gabbe, and rugs of nomads of farce.